So I really do try to think of ways to overcome some of my problems of my autism. Like I think of problems I have, uh, difficulties with the basically the symptoms of the autism and also, well, how they would apply in both in emergency situations and everyday life. And something I have trouble with is something called facial blindness. There is a medical, um, there's a mental illness that involves it called dyspronosia, where you're completely unable to recognize faces. Um, with autism, a lot of times people have trouble with faces, but aren't completely oblivious. So it's not true dyspronosia, but it has symptom, you have symptoms of it. Anyway, so something I would like to do is try and... Do, I think it was in a book called Angel's Memory. Uh, the author wrote about how you can remember faces even for people that uh, don't have a disability. What you can do is find their name, think of their name, and attach a mnemonic to their name, whatever it may be, and then associate their name with that mnemonic and visualize that mnemonic with, you know, a certain feature on their face, a certain feature that stands out. Um, for instance, um, my I have very good eyebrows, and my name's Tim. So you might think, okay, Tim, kind of like time, the herb time. So you would imagine, okay, the herb time, and I have nice eyebrows, so you would imagine time right here, a sprig of time right here on my eyebrow. And that'd be an example of how you could remember my name. So that that would be really helpful in everyday life because, for one thing, if you remember everybody's name, they tend to, especially people that are used to people, you know, not remember their names, that gives you a sense of relationship with them, and they're more likely to um, treat you favorably. Like for instance. Um, there was one person that worked at a restaurant um, that was at a different branch than the one I worked at. And I found out he would remember customers' names, right? And he would address them by name every time they came in for a pizza. And he made tips left and right uh, because he could remember people's names. So he made tips left and right. Uh, that would be where it would apply in everyday life. But not to mention it would also just be good for the workplace remember who's who but in an emergency situation it would help because you would be able to remember who can get you what who needs what uh, who has what skills and also who to trust and who not to trust you know who can get what done who can get what from who needs what and who's trustworthy and who's not you know these really help with these are things you'd have to know uh, an emergency situation and something that would really help uh, if you want to overcome autism I have to be able to recognize these things and I have to do it just for daily life just to remember who's who and whatnot but honestly I probably can't focus on too much right now because I've got so much I'm focusing on right now I could probably in a few months I could easily add it on um, once I get better control over what's going on in my life but uh, yeah, anyway, that's just something I want to talk about. If you uh, have autism and you you have facial blindness, uh, you can use that mnemonic device where you imagine something, a mnemonic device that is associated with their name and then associate that mnemonic device with a particular feature of theirs that stands out. So, on their face, feature on their face. Anyways, that's why it would be good in everyday life is it just helps with relationships. And it also would help with, you know, an emergency because you'd remember, once again, who needs what, who can get what from, who has what skills, and who's trustworthy and who's not, and of course, who's dangerous.